Go to badboymembership.com. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com. Yeah, yeah, they don't do, but that and that's how I uh that's how I look at things, you know what I mean? No. Why? So let's, let's, let me ask you this, man. A lot of people, you know, he was talking about Chris and Jay Z. A lot of people over the years say that Jay Z took Chris's flow. How you, how do you feel about that? Is there any truth to that in your opinion, or are people just blowing smoke when they say that? Uh, I won't say they blowing smoke. It's just like we all we all got we all got things from each other. Still sharp and still. Yeah. And um, we pick up on slang. If I hang around y'all enough today. Mm -hmm. I might take some slang or That's some true. shit that y'all be saying back to Philly. Yeah. That's just life. That's just mm -hmm. human nature. And you do that shit without even trying. Mm -hmm. You hear me? You be around somebody long enough. We oh, done yeah. been places. Yeah. We done been uh, New Orleans and Houston and we pick up on slang and bring it back. We might not say it forever, mm -hmm. but That's you know what I'm saying? Fact, it, yeah. it, it's just, it, you could just pick up on things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, did we get things from him? Hell yeah. Did he get things from us? Hell yeah. We spent so much time together. Why wouldn't yeah. we? Yeah, you know yes. what I'm saying. Why? Why wouldn't we? That, that's just you pick up on shit. Be, be, when we went up there, we was rocking guest jeans, and, <laughs> and, and before they was laughing at us. We, we right. they was wearing like uh, yeah. fat form and, mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that, where the jeans was a little bit bigger, and you know what I'm saying, yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So it's like we start wearing shit like them. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's just like we all got things from each other. That's just was was hanging on hanging around motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? And um, but I I don't know why. Just just people pick at little shit that they want to pick at. People see see what they want to see in everything. Like um, when motherfuckers say like uh, they might say big quote J. I mean I mean J quote big a lot. Mm -hmm. Everybody quote big a lot. You know how many times Beans do that shit? But I don't never hear nobody say because he loved Big to death. That's big was like his favorite. Mm -hmm. But Beans quote that nigga a lot. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But nobody say nothing. They just pick at little things that they want to pick at and they see. You know what I mean? Let me ask just, you this because a lot of people, we say a lot. Jay Z's our favorite rapper. I can I think I can attest to my cousin. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Number one, hands Absolutely. down, right? But we still, as a platform and as a podcast, we still got to be, put, call it down the middle and be critical of certain things. So we're critical of certain business moves and things. That's what we got to do. But all in all, we got respect for the man, right? Right. Never met him, though. Right. What's one of the misconceptions that people who love and adore Jay Z but maybe don't know him that you can kind of say, nah, that ain't really how it is? Being so closely around him for so long. First thing that came to my mind was <laughs> Illuminati. Oh, <laughs> awesome! That's a, I mean, that's a good one, though. Yeah, yeah. The diamond no and shit. Illuminati, man. <laughs> nigga. Right. That nigga, man. That nigga from Marcy Projects. You hear me? <laughs> they had a fucking vision. And 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 out hustled every fucking body. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Out worked and out hustled everybody. Made the right decisions mm -hmm. and um took advantage of every opportunity that came his way and and and, and got to a point where you know he he, he 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 leveled up. Just he just leveled up, man, and knew what he had to do. Whether it was some things that was comfortable and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just gotta do. He did what was best for him at the end of the day. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, you gotta respect that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? as a man, you do. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, Thank but, you for um, that. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, like the Illuminati shit. What else? What else <laughs> did you say about it? I don't know, man, but... They're going to say you was covering up for the Illuminati when they had this shit. <laughs> <laughs> See what Nick doing? That's a part of that thing, bang, with the thing, thing. Oh, yeah, that nigga just, man, that nigga, that nigga's a genius, man. What? That nigga's a genius, man, hustler. But the, 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 just the work ethic, everything, man, about him, like, just creating music, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like, something that, um, yeah, I ain't never seen it ever done like him. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody else do it like him. What? You know what right. I'm saying? I done been around the best of them. Ain't nobody do it like that nigga though. No, right. I appreciate that. Do you Respectfully. Look at, yeah, yes, then you look at all the people underneath Jay Z that he birthed, like, you know, the billionaires, Rihanna, you know, Kanye, you know, all the state property, everybody was under Jay. But talk about uh Kanye. Do you yeah. ever meet him and, and how you feel oh, about yeah. uh yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, always been yay. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. That's what's up. Yeah, you always been yay. And he 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 made it through the test of times. 
to where as though it's more people like him today. You right. know what I'm saying? Back when he was around us, it wasn't a lot of, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't a lot of him. Yeah, that's a fact. But um, yeah, he always been yay, always had his vision, always believed in what, 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 what he believed in, and um, just went, went hard, you know what I mean? Hard on the production, and then, you know, had his vision and had a plan to be the artist and put his destiny in his own hands. You feel what I'm saying? Like a lot of stuff on him, certain artists, they let the label play catch up. Mm-hmm. What they believe in, they go full throttle with, you know what I'm saying? And the label will catch up to him. And um, yay, yay, yay that nigga. Yay that nigga. How, we, when we talked to Omilla, he was talking about early on that he didn't have his, like, his business you know, straight. How was it for you guys? Did you guys have your business straight from the door when your first single started coming out? Oh, we was all young. We was all young. Okay. So, you know, we was all trying to just figure it out. We was all trying to figure it out. We was uh, bouncing around management, bounced around lawyers, mm-hmm. accountants. You know what I'm saying? It, we was just trying to figure it out. We was just learning as we went a lot of things that we, we learned as we went, you know. How did the how did the Rockefeller breakup affect you guys? And obviously, what what was the the end result with the state prop after all that happened? Like, how was life with y'all after all that? Um, you know, it was a family thing, so you know, it was it was it was fucked up. Mm. But you know, true hustlers, we gonna figure it out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't. I ain't cry over spilt milk. It was still love with everybody. It's just Jay wasn't doing the Rockefeller thing no more. You know what I'm saying? It was there was still love with everybody. We would talk to everybody. Dame too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It, it was still love with everybody. Biggs was the way I used to write. Biggs. It was still love with everybody. It was just like it wasn't no no more business. It wasn't no more business with Rockefeller. So you know we definitely missed the, the times of being around each other and recording. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just like damn, it's over. But um, yeah, it, it wasn't like. It wasn't it wasn't like a nigga stressed out in the crib and nothing <laughs> doing right. nothing like that. We, we yeah. hustlers, we from Philly, we gonna go figure it out. We gonna go get the bag and like like at the end of the day, these motherfuckers had us on a platform and created opportunity for for us to eat forever. That's you a fact. feel what I'm saying? It's twenty years later. Yeah, we still getting shows. We still touring the world. We still up. making music. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And from that from from that motherfucking umbrella, from that from that thing. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No. So you gotta respect that. You can't take that for granted. The motherfuckers been that shit been feeding my family for over twenty years. That's a blessing. You Definitely. feel what I'm saying? That's so blessing, yeah. I never mm-hmm. ain't got nothing but good to say about that thing of ours. Or you feel what I'm saying? So last question about the rock um is Dame. Even to this day you see uh Dame and Jay Z not really speaking to each other. Um, being as though you was around both of them, what, what do you think went wrong in that situation? Um there was a lot going on. I heard a lot of stories and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And um it it just got a point it, it just became a point like they outgrew each other, man. Jay was Jay was on something else. Jay had a different different path. Mm-hmm. And um the path he was going down, he kinda had to uh go without Dame. 